All right, greetings internet, DDA here, and welcome to the first local match of our Star Wars Destiny. Uh, we have two uh, local players here playing two meta decks. Our favorite meta decks. Yeah, my per one of my personal favorites. This is I'm a Vader Raider player myself, and really, really enjoy what that deck can do. So it looks like Poe Ray is going to start out here and obviously pick his battlefield. What's that battlefield called again? Uh, Emperor's Throne Room. Claim ability, turn one of your dice to a side showing special, and then resolve it. Of course, I'm Really good po. when Poe is on the field. <laughs> right. <laughs> Especially very good with Mind Probe. Yeah. It's almost like there's a reason that every Poe deck runs that card <laughs> as their battlefield. Right. So, putting the two shields on Vader, of course, wanting to protect the strength of the Vader Raider deck, the Vader. Yeah. I very rarely do I load up the shields on Vader though. I always end up going one and one. But I can definitely see the the reasoning to go to. Yeah, there's no isolation in this matchup to worry about. Or no, is it intimidation? That, intimidate. That the shield. Yeah, Intimidate, that's a villain-only card. Right, so he doesn't have to worry about that. It looks like Ray, I mean, the Ray player does have Holdout Blaster in his hand, so that's going to be nice. Always nice yeah. to have that free action on, with Ray. Ray will always hard mulligan for, pro, for ambush, for some kind of ambush action, whether it be the Holdout Blaster. Shooting down the data pad here, which is, uh, I think it has awesome synergy with Poe as well. Of course, the special... What does the special do on Datapad again? Uh, so it's turn one of your dice to a side not showing damage. Very good, very good. So it says Datapad turns Poe to specials. There's a theme in this deck of turning Poe to specials. Yeah, he does have the lightsaber in hand, so he could do a nice cool two or three damage with that. Uh, two unblockable when you got two shields. Vader's got two shields out. Uh, so double disrupt and at least two melee. Uh, defensive position, one of my favorite cards, because um, I run it in Luke Akbar. Uh, Extremely so strong, extreme value there, removing both Vader dice. I mean, that's basically all the damage of the deck right there is Vader. So. Yeah. Shooting down the hunker down on Vader, so he can get a cool shield up there. Uh, he could maybe keep it on for a, a turn or two because Ray is not going to do the most damage, and he does have that barrier of shields to to buffer him and try to not take damage from melee. Yeah. Of, um, uh, of inside this matchup, Vader is probably... I'm not sure if he has the advantage, but he definitely has some ability to counteract the Poe special by discarding a card from his hand every time he does uh, exhaust Vader. So the Poe player is going to be very limited in this game. He's just going to have to be very smart, just making sure he's always keeping a card in his hand uh, to, to discard. Shooting off a one disrupt there, taking out a resource. So he actually does have two resources showing right now, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Looks like Raider has a shield. He has a deflect in his hand. Um, not gonna the deflect isn't gonna help too much right now. Looks like he also has an electroshock in hand too, which might actually be a good play right now. Yeah, the electroshocks are still really important though, um, just because they hit the special sides. Right, so he's always, he's not, since he won the die roll and did choose his battlefield, he's always going to threaten that special side. So mm -hmm. you can see him, he's actually thinking of that electroshock right now. He's thinking about it. Yeah, sometimes electroshocking a power dice off the board just so they can't Emperor's Throne Room it is not a bad idea. Yeah, I would probably do that right now. It looks like he is actually going to do that next. Which is exactly what he does. Good play. 
Uh, that was actually a, a win-win uh, because he also got rid of the potential two resources. Right, of course. So did he not... Uh, is he taking the shield? I'm assuming he is, right? That's a shield. Oh, yeah. Um, did he not? I guess he didn't. Hmm. That's weird. So what else we got here? I think he actually has another... Is that another Electroshock? I think it is. And he yeah, has he has two. Choke. Upgrading the data pad for a holdout blaster. There it is. There's the money. Holdout blaster on race sounds good. That's how you do it. This is how you do it right here. Oh, hard rolling the post special. It can't get much better than that. Yep, immediately resolving it. Throwing the lightsaber for three melee damage. Getting through the one shield. Dealing damage and destroying that hunker down. Yeah, which is like, as the Vaderator player with Hunker Down, seeing the the one melee damage on Ray and losing your Hunker Down to it is just makes you feel really bad. Dropping a Sith Holocron on the Tuscan Raider. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I heard that card's pretty good. Yep. Ray gets the cheat actions. Blue villain gets the cheat four cost upgrades. So pretty much a a the worst role he could have gotten with Ray. Not the worst, but pretty bad. But well, one of one of the worst, yeah. <laughs> so it does not matter since he just like naturally rolled that that special on on Poe. I mean, he's just sitting pretty. He's fine with letting that blank out there. That's that almost doesn't even matter. Looks like the uh, the Raider player is just saving. The Vader Raider is saving Vader. Yeah, letting Poe kind of do his thing. So, still crappy dice showing from Ray, um, as usual. And a disrupt for Poe. Got a random discard. Uh, it, I mean, it'd be good to do that with the Holocron in play. Just in yeah, case. Just to randomly hit the for the one force power that he might have. He's gonna deflect the plus two into Poe. The first damage on Poe. And actually Poe has already done um, the Poe player has already done what? Four da no, six damage. And I'm yeah. pretty sure he broke through four shields already too. Yeah. I uh, I don't know how much I like the deflect play on the plus two ranged, because Poe does have two range damage sides that are more relevant. Yeah, but is he really going to re-roll Poe right now? He's just going to claim. No, I think you hold that deflect for when Poe does roll oh, range. I see. Because not only are you doing damage, you're also removing the threat dice, which is the Poe dice. The holdout blaster you're not afraid of. Like, yep, claiming and shooting special for another lightsaber. He's just going to do the two damage then. Yeah, two unblockable. So I mean the uh, the Vader player has full rain right now. Only two cards in hand, but full rain. It looks like he has electro shock and force choke in his hand. Um, tough call here. I mean he pretty much doesn't have much. He's gonna shoot off the two melee. Do you want to? Oh no, he actually has force choke. Force throw. Sorry, force throw. He's I don't here. like. I don't like that discard. Yeah, discard the electro shock. That's a. The rough play. Oh, he's actually going to get the Holocron special, though. That's pretty significant. All right, that's... If you're going to discard an Electroshock, it better be the guarantee getting a Force <laughs> Throw on the field. I mean... <laughs> All right, so now he actually has Holocron in hand, and he could discard it to try to put some more damage on Poe right now. Um, It's a tough discard, like... Discarding a holocron is rough. I would have to know like how many force upgrades. He's I would just do it just based. Yeah, I would. Do, I would do this just based on that two melee um, that's showing on Ray. Potentially, he could throw that. Oh, that's just a terrible yeah. roll, though. 
I mean, Vader did have the potential of pulling out another, like, five damage there, which would have been huge. Yeah. I think, honestly, I still think that was the right play, even though, even though he didn't get the special he needed. Hey, look, another Holocron. That's okay. Just when you think it's gone, another one pops up. They're like, they're like cockroaches. You can't get rid of them. Poe did draw into Mind Probe, so that is definitely significant. See, and there's here's where that deflect would come into play. Yep. You could deflect, because I think it's actually... It's the two... I mean, it's only the two ranged, but... You're getting rid of a Poe dice. Yeah, it's more it's more so the Poe dice that you care about. Yeah. So Poston with double field medic. So pretty much going to negate any damage that Vader Raider does this turn. Oh, nice. Immediately resolving the throw special to just throw two into Poe. Yeah, Always want to the... get rid of that, that those Poe dice. Yeah, that's the power of Raider's ability. Like, And that's why he goes so well with Vader. It's because you can put these like control kind of force powers on him with holocron and then just be like oh i'm behind because you claimed no nope, raider can still activate force throw thinking about putting down holocron wouldn't be the worst play i mean can't really go wrong with the holocron with yeah. the holocron the power of uh, the dark side compels you I believe that's something entirely different. So, Ray rolls out, gets a Ray roll. <laughs> Hopefully, not worried about that two gun for a money. Because you shouldn't be. <laughs> I actually think the two gun for a money right now, knowing what's in the pod. Poe Ray's cart hand. You would rather him throw the two damage at you than heal two damage off a of Poe. Like you're in a race right now. Getting another Sith Holocron special. Shooting off. Is that a? Oh, getting another resource. Wonder what he's uh, thinking right now. He might be thinking a claim into that rocket launcher. You can see that uh, the players are using a few Spirits of Rebellion cards. Just a few. I think uh, they bought a few singles or some fr went to a pre-release event or something like that. So. Since this was, was just a casual local, they decided to use them. Yeah, if Poe just goes claim special rocket launcher for damage, like, I'd be impressed. Yeah, shooting out the choke, the force choke, and a roll it in. And a roll the black. Oh, darn. But looks like he's got three damage sitting out there with the raider and the vader dice. It's so hard to tell if Vader's got two or three damage showing. Yeah. I think that's two. I think it is as well. He uh he just that. cannot get Oh man. He's got a four strike in hand, which is Vader's like trump card. So it just says three damage out of nowhere. Oh, it's so good. So strong. So, I mean, pretty even so far. The only problem is they're doing damage fairly evenly to each other, but the power offset between Ray and Tusken Raider is not comparable. Yeah, no. Especially not Ray with a holdout blaster. Like, Ray with a holdout blaster versus Tusken Raider with force throw. I'll take the Tusken Raider with force throw nine games out of ten. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely good, for sure. Um, but the problem is, is Ray can also be looking at a mind probe. Yep, it is just sitting in hand right now. Gonna resolve three melee, bring Poe to up to nine damage. Yep. Looks like he's gonna. Cl oh, he claimed? Yeah, he's gonna claim. He could drop the mind probe. Two cards in hand. So he could mind probe for two damage, could mind probe for two discard. Can't mind probe for three damage. Oh, so he mind probes for the di the double discard. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I like that play. Uh, I don't know. I'm it's definitely sure. more of a control play. Just, it's... I, I think he wanted to he limit... He only had one damage showing. 
uh, with the force choke, even if he would have rerolled. I, I, he could have played holocron, yes. Yeah, I think the big thing was just getting rid of the holocron. Yeah. All right, so the other reason that Vader Raider is so strong is yellow villain with backup muscle. Yeah, backup muscle, super strong. Still got the rocket launcher over there on post side. Got another blaster in hand. I can't remember what that blaster's called. I think the it's one of the new DH... ones. Is it? A... No, that's the DH-17. Oh, okay. The common referred to as the baby blaster. Baby blaster. Two blank sides. Two crappy force damage throws sides. in hand right now. Oof. Force throw, easily one of the best upgrades in the game. Speaking of the devil, Speaking hang on. Force throw I'm going to activate Tuscan this. Raider. Speaking of which, I'm going to activate this. And I'm going to throw that three damage at Poe. And kill him. So strong. Uh, they're clarifying if, if that actually works how it does. It does. He did it last turn. It still works that same way this turn. <laughs> 100%, yeah, strength. All right, well, certainly, Poe's certainly. Dead. Vader has eight health left. Raider a... is full. Here. With a force throw. It is looking really bad for Poe Ray right now. Yeah, the only uh, the only upside to that Ray has going for right now, one is that force throw, and two is that Vader only has a force choke, which yeah. if you want Raider to have, Vader to have any upgrade... That's the one you want him to have. Yeah, it's definitely pretty weak. Because this this many turns into the game, like as a Vader player, you want to see him at least with a Kylo saber. Yeah, double and discard. Four, right? So that, I mean, that could be really good, especially like knowing what's in his hand, hitting the backup muscle. If he doesn't play the backup muscle here and ends up losing it to discard, that'd be. That'd be huge, because you're losing three damage out of hand. Yeah, kind of shoot off the resource. Probably has a lightsaber in his hand. Yeah, lightsaber or Kylo saber. One of the two. Hoping it's a Kylo saber, just because of how much more powerful Kylo saber is. Yeah, gotta love that three mod side. Three mod side, two mod side, three for a resource, and the special. Loses a he doesn't like you and, a ba and the backup muscle. He doesn't Ouch. like you. Um, probably not the best right now. Yes. No, but it's easily one of the best removal cards. Oh, for sure. Um, just being a zero cost removal that you can get and get rid of that shitty Tuscan Raider dice, or that Force Choke dice that doesn't really do much. All right, here comes the money right here. I mean, he's so, pretty much fully exhausted. He does have claim for Force Throw still. Um. Which, Which is pretty you, powerful. You're going to wait until Vader rolls out. And if you're Ray, best case scenario is he rolls that three melee damage and then you just throw it back at him. Oh, there it is. Yep, that, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> oh, jeez. So just huge, huge dam. I mean, that's a six damage swing right there. Like, you can't, yeah. you can't deny. Uh, that's... that's Force throw is probably the best upgrade in the game as of Awakenings. Like from set one, just what it can do is so good. Arguably the best upgrade in the game, if not one of close the best. to it, especially with this this battlefield. Like yeah, with Emperor's Throne Room, it's it's incredibly good. Just to, in that deck, because you can even like post special it for out of your hand. For surprise throws. Yeah, so discarding, getting, I think, what is that, a two melee? Um, no, he just uh, did the force choke for one. Yeah, it was two disrupts. Yeah. He's been getting that disrupt side a lot. He's just not, he's not rolling what he needs to right now. He got no damage there. He took so much damage and just rolled nothing with, with Vader. Yeah. We're four or five turns into the game, and he's only seen one force strike, no no mercies. Um... Which are, are really your closeout cards. And you're just not seeing them. He did draw into a... Oh, the mind probe. Big bad mind probe is coming down now. Right to the force throw. Um, kind of risky. So he's he's going all out. Um, yeah. He's forsaking the control of force throw for the damage of mind probe. Wow, and he gets the special. 
insane right. roll there. That's not only does he get he gets roll. the best damage roll, second best damage roll that he could possibly get. Wow. It's the special and the two melee from Ray. Like, only way that's better is if Ray has the plus two mod aside. Rolling the hotness now. Even if the Raider player right now uh, discards a card or, or plays an upgrade or something, he's still looking at a four damage mind probe. Vader yeah. only has Vader's health. Dead. health. Like, he has Vader five can't, health. Vader can't actually survive that roll. Yep, yeah. On the board right now, Vader is dead. Because uh, he couldn't even, like... The only way he can survive that roll is if he had one of the two Electroshocks that he had earlier to get rid of the Mind Probe. Yeah. But he doesn't. Yep, gonna take the four damage to the face. Pretty much can't do anything. Um... And he knows it, see? He just, he knows it yeah. right now. It's so uh, sad. Plus side, though, is that Raider is going to get a lightsaber. Yeah. I mean, so... oh, it's so tough. It's just really sad that he had, I think he had seven health left on Vader when he killed Poe. And Vader just did nothing. Absolutely yeah. nothing. Can't do nope. that, bro. Can't play, can't play the Kylo Saber. <laughs> Two reasons. Uh, it's unique, and it's blue character only. <laughs> Man, being able to have it, if you had two Kylo Sabers, why would you ever want one of the lightsabers? I just, uh, I don't know about that play right there. Yeah, I don't like overriding the force throw there. I think force throws your saving grace when you lose Vader. Yeah. Yep, resolving the one melee on Vader to take him down. Now this is a completely different game. Actually, Ray is winning by one right now because he has nine to eight. Yeah. Um, Tuscan Raider should be dual wielding lightsabers right now, so he needs to redeploy that lightsaber. Yeah, absolutely. And he needs that right now. Never thought I'd say those words as a as a Star Wars fan. Dual wielding lightsabers, gotta love it. On a on a Tuscan Raider. Darth Maul. Tuscan Maul. <laughs> gotta remove oh, that force throw dice though. Yeah, yeah. Also, should not have that force throw dice there anymore. <laughs> Um, although I have had Admiral, still bro, can't bro, play that card. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> That's still blue character only. Um, I have had Admiral Akbar to wielding lightsabers. That was hilarious. He was an angry fish. All right. He's he's, got is he rolling that force right throw? Now. He's rolling that force throw. <laughs> oh, well, hey, he's got two damage on the board at least got two unblockable and a force throw that shouldn't be there <laughs> see how long that takes to catch all right so force misdirection um choosing Ma ray's melee side to remove the plus two i guess that's okay a plus yeah, two was wasn't, wasn't really threatening right now but obviously can save you damage on a reroll. yeah so yeah just do the special yep two I mean, and here's the thing, like, we were talking before about that Mind Probe upgrade being a risky play. It is on one sense, but on the other sense, like, look at this right now. Like, he can constantly threaten just claiming. Just, just... It was, it was a risky play, but it really worked out for him just on that, that turn that he played it. Yeah. That's because he rolled in Ray and naturally just, Yeah, like... if he doesn't hit that special and doesn't kill Vader, like... That mind probe's really, really costly. Yeah, so it's got seven health left. Uh, Rerolling, <laughs> just grabbing that that force throw dice. <laughs> Thinking about it. Hopefully somebody's got. Oh, so they real? Is he gonna realize it after he rolls the special? <laughs> Thinking about force throwing that three into into Ray right now. I would be really good. Save your resource. Oh. Yeah, I can't do that. Force throw has been gone. <laughs> I think that was I'm sure. There, I'm sure the player was out. just. I'm sure the player was just using that to to kind of give the Tuscan Raider dice something to bounce off of. Never actually planned on using it. All right, so now this is a uh, this is a swing here. You got Ray's got got four health left. Four to seven. Four to seven. 
Raider can definitely pull this out. Mainly because he can do a three on activation. Yeah. And if he one of the mid damage sides on the lightsabers. This is gonna be intense. This is just super intense right now. He's got a one in six on all three of his dice to hit a three for one. Yeah. So Ray's gonna roll out. Oh wow. Wow, and just rolling that special again. I saw the two blanks and I'm like, man, that's a really terrible never mind, it's mind prone. This guy is just, this whole game, he's been just rolling the hotness. Yeah, so many that specials. Mind probe, that mind probe is turning out to be a huge play. I mean, yes, it does have two special sides, but he hasn't missed it yet. Like, that's pretty big. All right, he needs to roll something here if he's going to pull this game. He has to kill him. He, he has, has to, to hit do the, some damage. He has to hit three and two specials. All right, so he activates, and I don't know if Ray really gives him a chance to activate Raider's ability. Yeah, he didn't even he didn't even like wait two seconds there. Yeah, because Raider could have actually hit him with three damage right there, which would put him within one, and could just re-roll. That's so. That's a that's a note to, to all the players. Don't rush. Give your opponent time to to actually make their play if they have an after activation ability. Gonna shoot four damage while taking the raider down to just three health. And actually, yeah, it's pretty much over. All all the ray deck do, has to do right now. You have to claim have a hold the, raider, blast there the raider has to claim right here, or else he loses. Ray have a holdout blaster in hand? I think he does. He's gonna discard the hit and run to roll, to reroll. Um, I guess what I he does he does have a holdout blaster in hand right now. Yeah, so he he can just win on the next turn. Um, I guess what I really don't like about that play too, that whole rushing the raider ability is he'd activated raider twice before it's not like he didn't know the ability was there oh yeah in my opinion like i w if i was the the raider player right there i would have said like as soon as i saw that card like and he played it that quickly i would have been like whoa um i don't know I have if i want to activate my ability yet like because that's kind of like a straight up misplay on the the actual po ray player yeah which is something to also keep in mind now that we're going into Spirits of Rebellion with cards like Fast Hands. Um, give your opponent a chance to activate that stuff. Don't show, don't show what you have and give them a reason to activate it. Yeah, so I think they're doing a lot of stuff right now. I'm not sure if the Poe Ray player really irrelevant. all he needs to do is claim. So he's going to No Mercy for one to do two damage. Yeah. Needed that No Mercy earlier in the turn. Yep, so here it is right here. Uh, it's, it's GG. Yeah, this game should be over. If, if I mean, if Raider had one activation, like just one action to activate and potentially hit a three. Yeah, if he would have if he would have uh, actually done his ability there, the yep. game would have been... Uh, he would have yep. won. Yep, and here it is. Hold out blaster, roll in, claim. Good game. Mind probe. Uh, yeah, claim with the mind probe. Yeah! He actually didn't even need to claim because he just rolled the special on mind probe. Oh, uh, well... He's been doing that. He's been doing that pretty yeah, much all game. three turns so. in a row. Wow. So, great game. I mean, this was the finals. So, thank you all for joining us. And we'll be doing this a lot more.